Hi everyone. Um, we're gonna see what we can do today. Um, somebody has started teething, so adding that to my list of exciting things that are happening currently. Um, I will be posting tomorrow a little hack I f trick I found, um, but you gotta tune in tomorrow. Um, okay, so. I got some questions about weight bearing and standing and pulling to stand. I'm gonna see how we do with him, um, but I'm also going to post a link in my bio with another blog post I've done about pulling to stand. Um, so hopefully that'll help you guys as well. But, so one of the things, and I've actually gotten a few questions about this is, <sighs> If your kiddo is, I don't know where, so, sorry, let me back up. I don't know the questions I got. I don't know how old their kids are or at what stage they're at. Um, but one of the things I recommend in general is having toys at varying heights. And I've talked about this a little bit. So, like, we have a step stool out. We have, oh, I put it away because I actually did yoga this morning. Um, we've had this to toy out. So starting to get them interested in things up off the ground. I had meant to bring home from the clinic one of our little activity tables and I totally forgot um, two weeks ago when it was the last day we were in the clinic um, to kind of show you guys some stuff with that. If I got back down there just to pick up some supplies while I'm working from home, I will bring it home. But that's another great tool is to have that and so what you want is you want them to realize that there's stuff up above. Um, I posted yesterday that he is now getting on hands and knees and that happened really quickly. In fact, I actually almost wish he would slow down a little bit um, because he just started belly crawling. But I think part of it is that I've had these toys out where he's lifting up so high that he's kind of bringing his knees under him. So I'm kind of getting off topic here. So. Pull to stand. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so you wanna get something on a surface where they're interested in it. If you, ideally your child can get onto hands and knees. So you can also start playing with them in this position too. So playing in a kneeling position, um, is another you know avenue for play but once they're from here and ideally this would be a little bit higher um but a lot of kids you're gonna see start to kind of just kind of push through their legs to get up um without you know much coordination between the two and what you ideally want to get to eventually is putting one foot up and then they're pushing up and you can if your child is just struggling to get up into standing, you can help them with this. Like repetition, repetition, repetition. The more they practice something, the easier it gets and they start to learn the motor planning. See, like I said, this bench is a little too short for him. Um, so I don't know if you notice this. I'm gonna do it from the other side. So I'm pulling the his left leg up and I, he's bringing his other leg up so he can push up through a squat. This is also very normal. Um, I would not expect him to even be able to pull the stand at the moment. I actually don't want to be showing him right now because I don't need him moving even more. That sounds terrible. That's not true. I'm kind of joking at the moment um, just because I'm trying to get work done. But anyway, you will see that squatting a lot. So you will either see, let's see, you know, kind of then push both legs into extension like that and then bring their feet forward. That one's a little bit harder to help with. They just kind of figure that out on their own. What you want to help with is the bringing the one leg up and kind of give them a little lift up into standing. Um, and you might see them use both legs to push up. So again, it's getting their interest up higher and then you helping them. Now, if they're old enough, so this is gonna be too tall, but let's pretend we'll do it from my lap. Um, 
So you can also, to get them interested in standing, have them kind of sitting on a, your lap or a little bench and have them push it, help them push up. Again, I wish this was just a tad taller, but um, that sit to stand is gonna help with strengthening the legs as well, plus teach them that if they get up into standing, there's something that they can do up there. It's all about teaching that exploration of movement and getting them motivated to move. Um, I hope that that explained things. If it didn't, please let me know. Um, my brain has been a little bit all over the place. I'm sure everybody's has. So in terms of weight bearing in standing, again, I don't know where the child is in their development, but the activities I just showed you for a slight, you know, a kiddo that has been showing interest in getting on their knees and wanting to get into standing, um, those are great. If not, what I've been doing with him, you know, just kind of playing with him standing. Now he weight bears, so I, although we're starting to put this one to go up on the toe there a little bit. Um, but if he was to just kind of collapse, you know, I just kind of keep introducing it. It's a lot harder to explain this when you don't have a kid that's doing it with you. Um, you know, if he was, some kids just kind of go like loosey goosey and they collapse their legs or they pick the feet completely up. I, you know, start with just the like, kind of like trying to get them to weight bear. They're not doing that. Say they're picking the feet up. Again, this all depends on how old they are. Um, I might, you know, give them a lot of support and rest them against me and just kind of get their feet into the ground. Um, um, if they, again, it's, I'm not doing a very good job of answering this. Let me circle back to this, but keep introducing it. I will come up with better answers. I apologize. I feel like I should go back and delete this part, but I'm not because this is, real life and we don't always have the immediate answer sometimes we do a lot of trial and error um and i learn or come up with answers a lot by like interacting with the child so sometimes it's hard for me to oh my god you're crawling oh man um oh i'm coming for the camera so anyway i'm gonna get off now before i can keep rambling let me know if you have questions. All right, say bye.